Are you feeling the love SM? On today's special Valentine's Day episode of Eagle TV 2.0, we have a lovely Valentine's Day segment with LBF, a Valentine's Day advice segment with Sally, and finally, weather with L'Oreal. But if L'Oreal's doing weather today, then where on earth is Tara Mani? I'm about to go look and find her, so in the meantime, let's roll the intro. America's newest Roman Catholic high school is open this week in Orange County. Hey there, Eagles. I'm Tara Maney. And I'm Nicholas Augustini. And boy, am I glad I found you, Tara. I mean, who else would I be hosting the Valentine's Day special with? No one but me, Nick. And hey, let's show some love to the varsity softball team for a great start to their season this weekend. The team beat came out hot on Saturday, defeating Dana Hills 8-0 in their first game and taking down Whittier Christian 10-4 in their second game. Great job, girls, and good luck the rest of the season. To keep the love going, let's send it over to my boy, LBF, to see how his Valentine's Day planning has gone so far. Take it away, Landon. Oh, hey. Didn't see you there. Eagles, did you know that love is patient and love is kind? So let's go out there and find me a Valentine. Let's do it, guys. Will you be my Valentine? No. Why not? I have one already. Will you be my Valentine? No. Why not? You know why. Will you be my Valentine? Absolutely not, Landon. I'm sorry. Why? Because <laughs> I don't like you. Will you be my Valentine? No, I have dogs. Will you be my Valentine? No. Why not? It's just, you're not my type. Okay. Will you be my Valentine? Of course, man. Such a handsome guy like you. Thanks. Well, guys, after a lot of trial and tribulation, I finally found a Valentine's. And hey, maybe you guys can be as lucky as me to find one, too. All you got to do is keep asking. It was without a doubt the highlight of my day on, so far. How on earth can anything top that? Oh, wait. I know. The summer program of the week. This week's summer program is the UCLA Mock Trial Summer Institute. Applications are open to freshmen through juniors. The program will be held at UCLA and participants will spend a week learning about the legal system, prepare evidence for trials, and develop convincing opening and closing arguments. Also, the scholarship of the week is DCU for kids. Applications are open to seniors and awards vary from $1,500 to $2,500. To apply, submit an essay about how you can incorporate the following three principles in your life. People come first, do the right thing, and make a difference. The application is due March 1st. Well, that was a lot, but it is a Valentine's Day special, Nick. And speaking of, what did you get me for Valentine's Day? Well, I have a few gifts here, but I want to wait until after Sally gives her Valentine's tips to see if my gifts are worth giving you. Sally, take it away. Hey Eagles, it's Sally Yun. It's Valentine's Day this Tuesday, and you might be thinking of some restaurant options. Now I have here some Ocean View romantic restaurants for you. First, we have Splash's restaurant. It's located in the beautiful Laguna Beach. And make sure to book the nearest table at the sea. And the sunset is also really beautiful. Splash's makes amazing seafood like octopus and salmon. And they also make common food like avocado toast and grilled food. Next, we have the Cliff restaurant. It's located also in Laguna Beach and it makes steaks and seafood. Unlike Splashes, they're famous for the outdoor dining. For someone who likes going to the beach and enjoy the sunshine, this restaurant is perfect for you. The Cliff makes more new American food like burger dinner and fish and chips. Raya is located in the Dana Point Ritz-Carlton. It's a luxurious restaurant with fancy environment. They offer casual food and fancy plates. Lastly, we have Driftwood Kitchen. It has a chill environment and a very romantic night view. They offer plates like lobster, carbonara, and spaghetti. Overall, Raya and Splashes is amazing for a romantic formal date night. The Cliff and Driftwood Kitchen fits for a casual and chill dinner. That's all I have for you today. Wish everyone a great Valentine's Day. I'm Sally Yuan, now sending it back to the host in the studio. Thank you so much, Sally, for that amazing segment. 
So Nick, now that we know what restaurants to go to, are your gifts up to par? I have to say that they are, so here we go. Let me destroy it. That was so sweet, but still not the best thing to happen on Valentine's Day on Eagle TV. But that's a story for another day. However, let's return to the scene of Noah and Bello's tragic incident and send it over to L'Oreal to see what this week's weather will be like. Good morning, SM. I hope you guys have all had a great week. Last week, we did not have any rain, but this week, we will be seeing a little bit of that with a lot of clouds. With that being said, let's get into it. Today, Monday, we do have a high 59 and a low of 47 with some clouds. Tomorrow on Valentine's Day, we will be seeing some showers with a high, a high 53 and a low of 36. Rain will be in the morning and might may stop at the end of the day, but that's not for sure. Wednesday, we do have a high of 59 and a low of 37 with some sunny sunshines out for the day. Thursday, we do have a high of 62 and a low of 39 with some clouds. Friday, a high of 61 and a low of 43. And finally, Saturday and Sunday, a high of 16 and a low of 43. Sunday, a high of 61 and a low of 44. With that being said, Eagles, that's all I've got for you guys this week. I'm Loria Blake, sending it back to Nick and Tara. Just like it is every time you walk into the room, Tara, it looks like it's going to be nice and sunny this week. Nick, that was the sweetest thing you've ever said to me. But unfortunately, I have to say something sour. And that's that this Valentine's Day special is coming to a close. However, before we go, congratulations to our EDF song and my dance team. Over the weekend at the USA Regional, the dance team won first place in the extra small dance, small jazz, and medium lyrical routines. Both soloists, Riley Forbes, as well as our very own Tara Maney, don't know who she is, were selected and placed in the top four. Thank you. The song team also got first place in their JV Palm and Jazz divisions. Congrats, guys. Well, SM, that's all we have for you today. But don't worry, because Eagle TV 2.0 will be back on Wednesday to close out this short three-day weekend. Well, SM, I'm yours truly, Nick Augustini. And I'm Nick's truly, Tara Maney. <laughs> have a fabulous Valentine's Day tomorrow, SM.